Another nice, nice one. Hey everybody, this is Mike with Angler Sports Center. I'm here with Mike Fure and Alex Perez. These are our big snakehead hunters here at the store. So today we are going to go over our top lures and we're going to kind of do them by category. So um, our best top water baits, subsurface spinners, <coughs> stuff like that. Um, snakehead has gotten so huge, I think we are getting like between 10 and 100 new lures in, it seems like, every single week. Um, we already have hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of snakehead lures here, so we are only going to show you a few of them, but definitely stop in, talk to us, check out the selection, it's great. So, um, I'm going to start things off because the lure I'm really excited about that we just got in, and I don't even think we've used it yet, but it seems like a snakehead killer, are these MEPS Black Furies. So. These are weedless rigged curl tails with a MEP spinner on the top. Um, everybody's been doing great on MEP spinners out there, but there's it's shallow water, there's lots of muck, lots of weeds that you get caught on, so this basically takes getting caught in the weeds away. It also gives you a bigger profile, which is kind of nicer. Um, so we think these things should be hot fire for sure. Um, other one I'm going to just touch in on real quick are just a couple of the bait rigs we sell. So we actually sell a couple of popping rigs that are all pre-rigged, ready to go, slap a minnow or a snakehead salty on them. Um, you can just fish, cast, retrieve, they work great. Uh, we also sell smaller Tony spoons and other, other little suspending spoons like this that you can throw a minnow on um, that work really well. Alright, so um, getting into it, let's start with some of our top water lures. So, Alex, what do you have for us? So, my first pick for top water is going to be a Booyah um, Tote Runner. The reason why is because it makes a lot of noise. It has a plopping uh, tail just like that, like a whopper plopper, but it's weedless. Besides that, one really important thing for me is that it has a wide gap hook. So, when this presses down, it's going to be, you know, wide enough to actually give you a good hook set, plus it's a uh, pretty heavy uh, weight where you're going to be able to cast it really far out and cover a lot of ground with this. So that's why this is one of my uh, favorite top water lures, uh, just because it's weedless, creates a lot of noise, and I can cast it a mile. So that's why I like that one. So that's the Booyah Toad Runner, and yes, it does come with an extra tail, so yep. when he tears that tail off, you can get back on it. So, Mike, what is your... I like to use the, the Z-Man Pop Shads mm -hmm. um, because you can rig them weedless with a Gamakatsu um, Superline um, hook. Um, they float, they're stretchy so you don't um, tear them up. You can throw them in weeds on grass, you won't get uh, hung up. And they float, they have this cupped mouth here so it's just like a popper but it's soft plastic. Yep, and that's a great lure too because just price per it, you get three lures in a box. Um, that you're rigging up yourself, so it's cheap. You can let it get torn up really good. Alex, what do you got next for us? Uh, next one's just a classic. Everybody knows this. It's the Whopper Blopper. Whopper the Blopper. Whopper Blopper. Uh, I personally, for snakeheads, like to use a 90 size. It's not too big, too small. Um, Color-wise, the white one. I uh, figured out that that's one of the best colors that the snakeheads like around the area where I'm fishing, especially black water. Um, white Whopper Plopper. Uh, especially when they're pretty much focused on the grass lines and you're really not tossing it into the actual grass. Uh, it's going to be perfect. You can pop it, it sits straight up pretty much when you pause it. So you can do all kinds of things. You can use like a popper, you can use like a bus bait, uh, you can do all kinds of things. And you know, besides that, it just it catches everything, not just snake it. So, you know, for those areas where you have multiple different kinds of fish, Whopper Plopper is going to be the best one when you're not around heavy structure. And yes, Alex does work for River to Sea. So, Mike, <laughs> what is your next top water bait? A really underestimated lure is the Jackal Pompadour Jr. Boom. Um, a lot of people are scared to try it because it's. Um, they're not sure about it. It's a lure that they've never seen before. You can say it is expensive. It is expensive. <laughs> um, these lures have these the wings on the side that actually um, fold in when you cast, and when you when it lands in the water, they open up and they kind of walk, and they make a lot of noise. They also have a little um, blade on the back that um, disturbs a lot of water. Um, two treble hooks. They're great. This is a dark color. Um, a lot of people don't use them, but this is a great lure that I've caught a lot of snakehead on. Yeah, Turns look, up a lot of water. Look, look it up online. The action's crazy on these never things. They, they, like I've it. never fished, but just the video, I'm like, oh my god, the snakehead must cream this. All right, Alex, what is next on the line? Any kind of hollow body mice. Uh, Gonna a love lot, mice. A lot of people 
ask why. What's the difference between this and a actual frog? So for snake itson specifically, it's a profile. You're pretty much looking at a slimmer, skinny profile. Uh, it's going to actually walk a little bit, and you know sometimes just a little bit different profile can make a big difference. I mean, there's times where you have a frog and it's maybe too wide, and you're not getting good hook set. Well, a little mice like that is going to be a slimmer profile, shorter hooks, but you know sometimes that's what they want, and uh, it's always great to have them around because what happens is. Um, like I said, they kind of glide sometimes, so you can play around with the speed, twitch your rod like you were working, like a little, you know, walk the dog bait, and they'll actually walk a little bit. So that's why I like those uh, hollow body mice lures. Which one is that? That's that's a Savage Gear. Mm -hmm. uh, so you know that's going to be uh, pretty good for around Blackwater and all these areas around yeah. here. And we've got different ones by mm -hmm. um, every company. Live Target. I'm looking at them now. Lunker Hunt. Um, whole slew of different different types of those. Um, all right, so what do we got next, Fury? This is our last top water bait. You can't go wrong with just a regular standard frog. This one is actually live target. Everybody knows live target. They're most realistic frogs um, and top water baits. Um, I like this one because it's a darker color, contrast with the, the, the sun. Um, you can't go wrong with a live target frog. They walk, they work great over weeds, grass, um, and this one's the most realistic. Good stuff. All right, so now I believe we are going to move on to some of our subsurface baits here. Um, so, Alex, why don't you take us off? Uh, one of my top, my most productive baits, actually, this past uh, few weeks, and even last year, and pretty much all the time, <clears throat> it's just a good old standard paddle tail. This is specifically Bass Assassin 5-inch uh, profile. Um, there's all kinds of different paddle tails. I just choose this one because of the actual length. It's a five inch, so you can target the small fish and the bigger fish. Pretty much anything will hit this. And the why, the way I like to rig it is, I like to use a gamakatsu, um, you know, <coughs> screw lock swim bait hook. It's this is four odd. Uh, so you twist it on there. What happens is once you get a hit, it actually pops down just like that, and you can get a really good hook set on on those hooks. They're sharp. Um, I like to rig it weightless like this because most of the areas you're fishing and you're casting this into the grass, it's probably less than a foot of water. So it's technically acting just, you know, a few inches below the surface. Mm -hmm. uh, if you speed it up, you can actually work it like a top water because it comes up just, you know, right on the surface and it starts moving a lot of water with that tail. So it's like a two-in-one bait. Uh, most of the time though, I do like to uh, fish it slow and just below the surface. So it's a great lure. White is my favorite color here. That's been a really productive color so far, like I mentioned on the top water. Who knows why? It just is. Mm -hmm. And the great part about rigging these weedless plastics are you can take this exact same <coughs> Gamakatsu spring rig and put it with anything. Like we have four inch, five inch, six inch paddle mm -hmm. tails. You can do stick baits with them. So you can really play with lots of different color patterns, lots of different bait profiles. <coughs> and because you're using those weedless hooks, you're going to keep it higher up in the water column where mm -hmm. you need it. So that, that's really just a universally great thing to use. Mike, what you got? Another one of my favorites, Z-Man Chatterbait. Z-Man. This goes along with what Alex said, great color, white, this is a sexy shad color. Um, this will just vibrate in the water, you can put anything on it, you can put a plastic, just like what Alex just said, you can put a plastic on this um, and have it as a trailer, you can put um, really anything you want. Um, they, they work great, you can burn them really fast so it comes up in the water, you can slow roll them so they just bounce off the bottom. Um, they're pretty weedless just because of that blade will deflect off a lot of cover. Um, they have a great strong, strong hook. Um, and I catch a lot of snakehead on them. Yep, and, and, and everybody loves the jackhammers right now. So they make a ton of different types, weights, sizes. Uh, the jackhammer is kind of like the heavy duty built um, ham, or the, the chatterbait that, that a lot of people are going with. So lots of different sizes on that, lots of different color options, lots of different ways to go with that bait. Alex? Um, swim jig. Uh, looks pretty much like a chatterbait, but it's not. The only thing it is pretty much is just a jig with the skirt. <laughs> so what it does honestly is once I find like a spot where there is a decent amount of fish and I'm trying to target the bigger fish, I like to put that swim jig in there. 
Uh, just the skirt alone, it's going to add a bigger profile look to it, and some of those bigger fish are going to, you know, focus on that bigger profile. Uh, swimming along the actual, you know, grass, uh, tossing into open water. The biggest thing with this compared to a chatterbait is that it has a weak guard, just like a football jig, mm -hmm. you know, a finesse jig. It has a weak guard, so uh, it's not going to be, you know, like 100% weakless, but it will keep most of the stuff out. Uh, plus, most of these are built with super heavy duty hooks. Yeah. So even if you hook a big fish, it's not going to bet the hook out. Yeah. It's going to be really resisting jig. They're all what we call tournament grade style hooks on all of those ones. I think we actually carry a ton of different ones with that uh, that weedless, quote unquote, weedless yeah. style, um, including some with like swing hooks, get, yep. just get a couple different actions off of it. Um, Mike, got for us. Another one. Spinnerbaits. Classic. Um, this one is actually a double willow. It has a, um, a gold and a um, silver blade. Um, these are actually big mouth spinners. You can use any spinner that you have. Um, I find that these work really well. They have a good keeper. You can put a trailer on them, um, paddle tail, um, straight tail, anything you want. Um, run them along weeds, um, open water, great search bait. You can just find your fish. Um, and then they work great. The flash of the blades, the double blades in that dark black water works really well. Mm -hmm. And then I think our last bait we have out here at least are just this is the standard MEPS number four. Mm -hmm. Alex uh, took me out fishing. We used this with the uh, white bucktail on it, and it was fire. We yeah. outfished pretty much all, fish. all the fancy, <laughs> all the fancy lures. We got a nice little squirrel tail in the middle there, along with the bucktail. Um, and that's why one of the reasons why you know the treble hook caught a lot of stuff. That's why we really think these black furies are going to do well because they are weedless and, and more of the same thing. Yeah. Um, we also, as you guys probably just saw, Alex yank a uh, lure out of this box. So we are selling some pre-made snakehead lure boxes. So for those of you who just need a quick start, we got those two. Uh, like I said, we are adding stuff every day, probably by the time you see this video, we will have added several dozen lures. So again, definitely come check out our selection, come talk to us and we'll, we'll hook you up. Um, so that has been our top lures. Thanks for tuning in. Another nice, nice one.